Hello, welcome to a new episode of General Nerdery. Today we've got our first product unboxing. It just so happens that I got my brand new Toshiba Thrive 16GB Android tablet in the mail today. So let's open her up and see what she's got inside. Okay, so here are the Toshiba Thrive unboxing video. Uh, we have the package, nice packaging. Uh, describes the features of the tablet on the side, 16 gigabyte model, held closed with a single piece of tape. Looks like it may come with need for speed shift, which I didn't actually know. Um, we'll see when we actually get it turned on. Very nice. The first thing you see is the uh, tablet itself. As you would expect, it's covered by uh, cellophane wrapping to keep it safe from scratches and so forth. First time I've actually got to feel the weight in my hand. This could definitely be a one-handed device. Quick start guide. Basically all the stuff you need to know just to get to the beginning. Accessory book. Legal information, warranty, discount card, discount card, advertisement, oh that's nice, stickers. Underneath, Power cable. Unnecessary cardboard. Power supply, external block. USB cable. Now let's unwrap the tablet. See in the reflection, we're seeing a lot of my uh, kitchen here that I'm recording in. And hearing a lot of creaking from the plastics. Oh, don't forget the legal disclaimer. Toshiba logo, here we see the rear camera, front camera, so we've got uh, power switch, volume up and down, uh, this is the rotation lock switch, uh, this allows you to keep it oriented, keep the screen oriented vertical or horizontal, uh, regardless of which way the tablet is actually situated. Uh, full-size SD card slot. Here we have the uh, headphone jack and the power supply input. And then hidden under a doorway here, which is actually a hard plastic. Oh, there we go. Here we have our mini USB, our full-size HDMI, and our full-size USB ports. Snap.
snaps back closed. Here we have the, I believe it's a 32 pin port, which is proprietary to Toshiba and will allow it to work with their um, cradle. Speaker port, speaker port here. So we should be able to just turn it on. Yep, there we go. Welcome, English, yes, start. Wi-Fi setup. I'm gonna have to stop the video because this is gonna take me a little while to enter in my uh, Wi-Fi password. So I will be back momentarily. Oh, connected, that was fast. Next. services. Use Wi-Fi mobile networks to determine my location. This allows, yep, we're going to allow that. Uh, use my location for improved Google search results. I'm fine with that as well. Use network provided time. That's also fine. Sign in with Google account. Next, this is where you enter your Google account information, presuming you have an account already, and I do. One moment again. Signing in. Restore data from my Google account. Yes. Keep this device backed up with Google. Yes. And here we are at the home screen. Uh, market widget, internet browser, Gmail, uh, talk maps, YouTube, app place. What's app place? Hmm, looks like another app market store. Oh, it's the Toshiba. I see. App place is apparently a Toshiba app store. Uh, I guess pre-approved or vetted apps. Back. Start place. It appears to be basically a Toshiba news feed, uh, headlines, news, entertainment, and so forth. place for e-reader, camera, which uh, looks like it defaults to the rear-facing camera. Touchscreen feels very responsive. Uh, when I was entering my password, the on-screen keyboard was also quite nice and easy to type on. Register your Toshiba device, user guide, calendar contacts, uh, all look very uh, standard. Open screens for others. Some pre-installed games, oh, including Need for, Speed, Need for Speed Shift, Gallery, Media Player, and another open screen. So that's the unboxing for the Toshiba Thrive. Uh, I have a feeling I'll be back uh, maybe next week, maybe later, with a proper review. Um, let's, hope I, uh, let's hope I like it. Thanks, and I'll see you next time on General Nerdery.